Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dom, and today we are checking out iMessage for Android. I know, it's kind of weird. It's actually called iMessage Chat, and before I get into this, I would definitely advise you to um, proceed with caution if you want to use this thing, because we don't know the developer. It obviously wasn't created by Apple, and, you know, who knows where your information is being sent when you're using this. That being said, I thought it was important to give you guys a little demo and show you um, how and if this works. So we're going to go ahead and download it. We seem to have a lot of negative reviews here, but that aside, I still want to give it a shot and see what it's like. So let's go back out to the home screen here, and as you can see, we have iMessage. Let's tap on that. Now here we get a familiar interface, and if we tap on Get Started, you'll be able to log into your Apple ID. Now I know it seems very sketchy to log in with your Apple ID into some random iMessage application for Android and if you feel like that you are 100% correct. I would not try this. I actually created a test account to be able to do that here so keep that in mind. We're verifying right here. I don't know what it's verifying. Maybe it's transferring all my information to the NSA. I'm not sure but uh, as you can see here it looks like it's finished and we are all logged in. The next thing you'll see here is a brief tutorial just kind of showing you how it works and we're going to tap on the button at the bottom here and here is the settings menu for iMessage chat. Let's go ahead and get past this, go to the messages tab and create a new message. I'm actually going to send an iMessage to the iPhone right here and see if this works. So I'm going to type in the iMessage address I linked up with this iPhone here and we'll type in a quick message and when we hit send, let's see if the message pops up over there. Let's go ahead and send that. And it's sending, it's sending, is it going to work? I don't know, oh, crud, there it is. It actually pulled up on the iPhone. That is pretty cool, actually. Uh, I don't know how this is working or what kind of shady information is being sent to some random server somewhere, but it actually works. So, you know, that's something to think about. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend doing this on your own with your actual Apple ID that has all of your credit card information linked to it because you're essentially sending your username and password to another um, place and you know that information could be captured by somebody. I don't know. I'm not blaming anybody, but I would say to kind of do this with caution, maybe create a fake Apple ID like I did for this demo right here so that you know that you're safe. But if you have an Android device and you want to send messages to iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, now you know it's possible. Another thing I noticed with this uh, iMessage application for Android is you don't get those little typing bubbles. So when somebody's typing on the other side, um, you won't actually see that little notification bubble there and they won't actually be able to see if you're typing. It just sends the messages straight across. So like here I'm typing a message, no little typing bubble shows up on the iMessage chat app for Android. And that's expected. This is probably not uh, you know, within the rules for Apple's uh, APIs and stuff like that. I don't know how they're doing this exactly, but I'm sure it's very shady and I would not trust it if I were you. But we're gonna go ahead and try to test out sending a picture. So let's see if that goes through. So as you can see here on the LG G2, we have these little dots right here, which eventually turn into the message in a second here. I didn't think it was actually gonna go through at first, and then it ended up popping up right there. So we have successfully sent a picture through iMessage to an Android device, and we can view it, we can save it to our device, everything like that. Let's go ahead and try out the opposite here. We will send a photo from the LG G2, to the iPhone through this iMessage application. Let's take a photo here real quick and we will use it. Then go ahead and send off this message. So let's see if the message actually makes it to the iPhone. If it does, this could be actually really cool for a communication. Of course, it's still very shady as we don't know where this information is being sent. But as you can see, the picture shows up right there and we can view it. Like I said, I wouldn't trust this application because we don't know this developer. We don't know where our information is being sent. I created a fake Apple ID in order to test this out, and I advise you to do the same if you want to try this. So be sure to let me know what you think about iMessage for Android down in the comments section below, and be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching, everybody. This is Dom, and have a great day.